Hi there friends. Today we're going to be doing a fruit fly growth medium. It's a really useful thing to do because it... Today's video was paid for by a donation from Alan Wood, who donated to us through PayPal. If you want to make a donation to the channel... Challen. If you want to make a donation to the channel... Why do I keep saying challen? If you want to make a donation to the channel, there's a link down in the bottom. Those kinds of things are always appreciated. So, to make this work, you're going to need three things. Mashed potatoes, sugar, which it says it, you have to believe it, yeast, and vinegar. Four things. You're going to need four things. Ideally, you want some kind of container to put them in, unless you just want to raise them on your counter. So for this, I'm going to be using an old yogurt container, which I've already cut the lid out of. And uh, because I already pulled the gauze out, I'm going to be using that for a filter at the top. You can use paper towels or some other kind of thin cloth. You just need some way for oxygen to get in for the actual bugs. You can attach your filter any way you want. You can use super glue, hot glue, silicon if you want to wait. I'm going to be using hot glue. And I didn't plug the gun in. So I guess we're just going to wait on that. The best part of hot glue is burning yourself. Recipe is pretty simple. One part yeast. Four parts sugar. Twenty-four parts potatoes. Then you're going to add vinegar until it's about the consistency of potatoes. a couple inches to our container. It's a good idea generally to use a clear container, but I know how long they take to breed, so I'm not worried about it. It is going to vary depending on species. And you want the flies to have some place that they're going to be able to rest and crawl around, so I'm just going to Wad up some coffee filters and throw in to give the adults some place to crawl around. Then you're going to need adults. We've already got a colony going, but if you don't have a colony, you can get flightless fruit flies from a whole lot of places. A lot of pet stores will carry them. You can get them online from some place like Rainbow Mealworms if you're in the U.S. Uh, usually they run between five and seven dollars a colony and if you can keep them going for pennies, then not really any reason not to. Just tap them away from the lid. And you can just tap a few into the jar. And you want more than that. Hmm? Do I? Yeah. There's a lot. Okay. There you go, look in there. Oh, okay. You don't have to worry so much about them getting out because they're not going to turn into huge nuisances in your house. They're just going to crawl around until they die. That's basically it. it depending on the species, you're going to give it one week, two weeks for them to hatch. Uh, I think some of them are up to 24 days. Uh, and then you'll get a nice self-sustaining population of fruit flies. Life cycle for these is pretty simple. They uh, 
lay eggs in the media, eggs hatch into maggots, maggots crawl up the wall, turn into pupa, pupa hatch into the flies and Bob's your uncle. Uh, because they don't fly, they're pretty easy to get out, you just tip and tap, and uh, they make a great food source for small fish, small frogs, poison darts, things like that. And uh, they're active enough that things really seem to enjoy chasing them around on the surface. One of the things that's nice about doing it this way is they're guaranteed gluten-free, so you have a nice, easy snack. I earned my nose. <laughs> that was a mistake. Just so you know, I'm going to pour these on my face. <laughs>